A good basic way to talk about well-being is feeling good and functioning well. This recognises that there are both internal things, such as thoughts, feelings, our physical health, and external things, life experiences, relationships, daily activities, social contexts, etc., that matter for well-being, and that there is two-way traffic between them. Now it turns out that we already have an excellent blueprint for understanding and working with well-being in this way. Te whare tapa a holistic understanding of health from Te Ao Māori. There are several indigenous models of haura and well-being from Aotearoa and across the Pacific, including Te Whiki and Whanofale, and it's definitely possible to use more than one model. The overarching commonality with these models is the depiction of health in a holistic way, that they are made up of and interact with different and multiple domains of our life. In other words, the different aspects of our health and well-being are interconnected and interdependent. We can also use it to build our resilience by ensuring that all our walls are strong and being looked after. So it's a plan for action as well as a map. Five ways to well-being are five proven actions that build human well-being. If te whare te is the what we need to build, then five ways to well-being are the how. You can look after each wall of the whare using these five actions as your tools. The best part is that we all get to create ways to use them that work for us. We all get to be the lead architects, engineers and builders of our own well-being.